can just tell the goat meat here is like so fresh. I love this food. I think it's one of the best things in the world. Even though I'm a chef, Good evening, this is Bao Eats, Street Eats in 3. I am with my friend, restaurateur, creator at FKN Deliciousness, creator at Calvin Eats Vietnam, and co-host of the best ever food review show, Mr. Calvin Bui. Who are you talking to right now? Hello? Anybody? Bao is an old friend of mine. A friend that I think I've known for six years. Yeah. Good memory. And to be able to be on your show today is a true testament to how much of a busy person he is. This is something I have wanted to film for a long time, and actually this is one of my favorite styles of Vietnamese food. So this is a traditional goat restaurant. I love it because the goat meat is always super fresh at a lot of restaurants. They'll actually have a whole goat hanging at the front of the restaurant. And I think these are dishes that are very popular in Vietnam, but very few people know about outside of Vietnam. I totally agree. Goat is a dish that in the Western world, we don't eat a lot of it because it's so gamey. Because we don't have access to it. Here in Vietnam, that gaminess, that rind, that chewiness, and that fatty rind, that's what we go for. We love textures, we love the bitterness, the sourness, the, the umami. One thing you know about Vietnam is almost every dish will have a dipping sauce. And they are very serious about dish dipping sauces here in Vietnam. And this is one of my absolute favorite dipping sauces. This is called chow, and it is a fermented tofu that's super rich and creamy and it complements the goat really well. So, and along with that chow, we have saute, which is basically like Vietnamese style chili oil. Oh, here in front of us we have one of the most popular dishes at this restaurant. So this is steamed goat along with herbs, veggies. You can just tell the goat meat here is like so fresh. And I love, I love the pepper that they put throughout. If you look at the device that's being cooked in, this is steep. You don't usually see the steamy technique in the West. Usually you just steam vegetables. You never yeah. steam protein. They utilize the steam process to cook the goat all the way through, but do it in a way where it's still slow and slow. You still keep a lot of the goat essence in this dish. You still get that chewiness of the goat. You still get that really nice hard rind of the fat. All right, so what is this? So we've gone from steamed goat meat to fried goat meat. Deep fried, crustified goat ribs. And I actually never knew about this dish until recently. My friend ordered this, and this is gonna blow your mind, Calvin. This is gonna literally blow your mind. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. oh. I love that the meat is still soft and not super chewy. You get that crust on the outside. They did a really good job. This is really good. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, I love this. Okay, Calvin. So I prepared a little game for us and for people watching. Basically, the game is I'm going to ask you questions, and then those of you watching, you try to guess how Calvin will answer and see how many points you can get. Comment down below how many points you got. Are you ready, Calvin? Pho or bun ba hue? Am I hungover? Am I not hungover? You're very hungover. Your head is throbbing, it's 10 a.m. You don't know where you are, you don't know whose bed you're in. You just need something salty and delicious. Huh. If I had to choose between one or the other and I'm really hungover, it's 10 in the morning. Um, I enjoy bubble So, one point for BBH. Did you get it at home? All right, next. Rice or noodles? I think if I say rice or noodles, I would say noodles. I'd say noodles, that's an easy one. Smoothies or milk tea? Smoothies, I'm not a kid. Fair enough, good answer. So I'm gonna give you an easy one. Really easy. Saigon or Hanoi? Uh, in what context? Weather? Culture? We're talking about food? We're talking about traffic? I mean, there's so many things that you're not thinking about other than just the city. Weather? Weather in Hanoi is really nice during certain parts of the year. I love Hanoi. I'm giving that a point for Hanoi. Okay. All right, well done. Okay.
All right, thank you for the patience. You might notice it's dark now. So here we are, we have ordered the hot pot. This is really the reason you come to these types of restaurants. I'm gonna say, Calvin, one of the things I love most about the goat hot pot is the broth. The broth is really rich. It's like one of the richer broths, I think, in Vietnam. Also in the hot pot, you've got tofu skin, you've got taro, you've got chunks of goat meat. It's hot, it's delicious. Let's eat. All right, so what I did earlier was I added one of the instant noodle packets to this cauldron of broth. And as you can see, it's still bubbling away. It cooks really quickly. I love this food. I think it's one of the best things in the world. Even though I'm a chef, I've got a big chunk of meat here. Let me go in for it. Oh. Yes. Mm. Soft, fresh, goaty. What do you give it? I give it a very good. So, thank you so much for watching. Click the like button. Please give me a subscribe. Check out all of Calvin's content. That's all in the description below. He does a ton of amazing stuff, especially if you like Vietnamese food. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night. Shalom.